Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create creepy demon eyes like that. Um, or bug eyes or whatever. Um, they're kind of awesome and uh, normally I show you guys a video clip of what it's going to look like, but it takes a long time and I didn't want to go to all the work to make the video and then go and, te and then redo it just when I'm showing you how to do it. So anyway, it's going to be a video and this is what it's going to look like, but it'll be a video, not a, a picture. So. Anyway, and I know what you're thinking, oh my gosh, are you seriously using the same stock footage, or not stock footage, same footage of your brother again? Yes, because it is late at night, and I can't film anything else, and this is an awesome tutorial. Uh, so, yeah, anyway. Um, I actually learned this from another guy on YouTube, but I think uh, his microphone wasn't great, so it might be, might be a little bit easier to understand me. Uh, plus, I'll, I'll try to do it more quickly. Okay, so, uh, open up a new project and then drag in your footage. You can download uh, this footage. Um, oh, I, I already color corrected it for you guys um, to make it look creepy just, just really quickly. Um, so you're not going to have to even bother uh, messing with that. So yeah, uh, there should be... Uh, I'm sorry, I think I, I lost what I was saying there. Um, you can download this footage uh, in uh, the link in the description, it's either going to be a link to Mediafire or my website, depending on if my website is up or not yet. Because um, I'm, you know, I'm working on making one. Um, but yeah, okay. So uh, drag that footage in, and uh, let's get started. Okay, uh, click Layer New Solid. Make sure it's black. Click OK, and um, this is what we get. And uh, we're going to want to duplicate it. Uh, control D, and then um, hit uh, select the bottom one, hit enter, and type in left eye, and then um, click enter again on the other one, and click right, uh, type in right eye, and then uh, turn hi highlight them both and turn the eyes off. Okay. Um, this might actually be easier to do if you haven't already color corrected the footage, but you know I just wanted to save you guys time, so. Uh, you should try that. You should really try all these tutorials with my footage first, and then with your own uh, footage, just to make sure you actually got the idea. And if you want to post uh, anything you do as a video response, then I'll check it out and let you know how you did. Um, okay, so click on the left eye, this one, and uh, draw a mask. Uh, you're gonna need the pen tool around the eye, right in here. Not just the white part, but anything that's inside the lids. Uh, let me see, wait a minute. Forgot about this. If you click and then drag, you can get little curves. Uh, and then you can hold control and bring in that little tail. Uh, and that can save you a lot of time. Instead of doing a bunch of little points, you can just do that. And um, as always, I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just trying to give you guys the idea of how uh, you do it you do this kind of effect. So, um, you'll have to excuse me if it is not completely perfect. Okay. Um, and now this little uh, white dot thingy, what is it called, like a sp specule or something like that, um, we're going to make another mask around that like this. Okay, uh, now click on left eye and hit MM, and I guess you can zoom back out. Um, for those of you who don't have a wheel on your mouse, control plus, control minus will zoom in and out. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. Mask one is the uh, outside eye. Um, oh, and we need to make this visible so we can see. Okay. So turn the, uh, uh, I almost forget what these things are called, the guidelines around where your mask is, turn those off, and then uh, turn the feather up just slightly, because uh, we want, you know, to blend that edge a little bit, like that. Uh, that's pretty good. That's what you do if you don't want to have an eye, I guess. Uh, and then on mask 2, set this to subtract, and then we're also going to feather that just a tiny little bit. If you zoom in, it'll be easier to see. Um, and if we don't have this little dot here, 
Um, it just looks, I mean, like you saw, it looks like there's just nothing there, but um, by subtracting that away from the mask and leaving that little dot of light in there, it makes it look like there's just like a black eyeball in there. Um, okay, and so now uh, let's go over to this eye and do the exact same thing. Bring that down, uh, click right eye, and click. it in. You can see why I said this is time consuming. Um, and then click there. Oh, oopsie. Okay. This. Drag it down. There we go. I'm so smart. get rid of that take that in there we go okay so that's pretty good and then we need to do the um this part the specule i think it's called the specule i'm not positive okay come on okay and uh mm uh turn it on turn those off feather it um probably like that and then come down here set this to subtract feather it slightly and let's check it out okay so that's uh looking pretty good um, but now we need to make it move, and this is the bad part. This is the horrible, horrible part that makes me want to shoot myself. Um, we have to go through here and click the mask path uh, stopwatch next to all the mask paths uh, on both of the layers. Okay, and uh, I guess we'll start on the right eye. Um, and we are going to, I guess, turn off the eyes here and here. Okay. And now uh, click on your mask and turn these back on so you can see. Now what we're going to do is put keyframes and match this up. And it is extremely painful and it takes forever. Um, so here, page down, page down, page down, page down. Um, and then we just have to line it up. Page down, page down, page down, page down. And line it up. And sometimes you'll have to adjust it to make it work. Luckily, his head doesn't turn a lot. So it's fairly easy in this clip. And this is this is what I'm saying it why it takes a long time because you just have to go through here and stick this thing on every single mask you made you're gonna have to do this with just go through move it move it move it it takes forever okay that's probably good enough for an example I'm just gonna select everything and hit alt end bracket um, because that's all I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. You you could go farther, but that's that's all I'm gonna show you. Just this teeny little uh, clip in here. Okay, and so now click on uh, mask two, and we're just gonna do the exact same thing. Let me move it up here so I can get this uh, more accurate. Page up, page up. Page up is move backwards. Page down is move forwards.
Okay. Um, and I should be going back to the beginning, but I guess I'm just sort of starting there for some reason. So, um, anyway, uh, let me turn the right eye on, and you can see what we have. Okay. Okay, so that's attached fairly well, but not perfectly. Um, so you see that? And then, uh, you just do the same thing to both eyes, and it looks pretty awesome. Okay, let's do this one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try, guys. I'm sorry, I know this is taking a while. Um, uh, turn on my mask. It's a really good thing he's not blinking a lot, because if he was, uh, then this would be harder, because I'd have to adjust the shape of the mask, as well as matching it up. Oh, okay. So that's matched on pretty well. Uh, let me line that last one up. There we go. Okay, and now for this one. Don't you just love this? Okay, and this is getting not perfectly accurate, so if I wanted to do it the right way, I would really move these points and um, get it uh, perfect, but like I said, this is fast, so I don't, I'm not, not going to take the time to do that, because I'm sure you don't want to watch. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and zoom out. Let's turn these off and that on, and now we will preview it. Um, and I guess, you know, I'm going to select these and do Alt Begin Bracket because there's no point in having that extra. Okay, this is what we did. So, uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, not perfect very obviously right here you can see a little flicker where it doesn't quite uh match up i'm not sure if you've seen right there yeah okay so you yeah, know mess with it make it perfect do a keyframe for every frame rather than every like three or four frames like i was doing and um it's a pretty cool effect it's a, it's a pretty neat effect and it's and it's easy it's not i know it's not amazing and it's not the best you could possibly do but it's still it's it's very nice for um a minimal amount of uh, with a minimal amount of difficulty. Um, so yeah, hope this helped you guys out. Um, subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, leave me a comment if this actually helped you because it, it helps me to know, uh, it, it makes me feel good when I know I'm actually helping people and, um, I'll put out more tutorials if I'm actually helping a lot of people, obviously. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Also, I post free pre-keyed, um, video effects on this channel so like uh you can uh just just browse through my channel and you'll find some and uh all the videos there you can just click the download link in the description it'll uh take you to mediafire or my website and um you can download it and when you drag it into after effects it's not going to have a green background or a black background that you have to key out it will just be uh perfectly already uh pre-keyed so that's pretty useful, and you might want to take advantage of that. And I'm saying, uh, way too much. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you later. <laughs>